Good morning, everyone. Today morning, we are in Elora. Elora is a small town in Ontario, and we are in the downtown in Elora. It was formed around the late 1800s by an English army guy. His name was something Williams. He bought a big piece of property, property here because of the river. We're gonna go there later on. It's a grand river, the name. is running on limestone. And the buildings here is limestone too. It used to be the first industrial area, the Elora Mill. He built that thing a long, long time ago. It's produced flour. Today is a hotel and spa. And behind the big building, this apartment building owned by the same company, and it just built recently, who owns this Aloromir Spa. So we take a short walk here. Many people believe it. It's a nice stone in southwestern Ontario. That is definitely very nice. And because the limestone is very European too. Small family businesses, boutiques, this coffee house. Here is the river. There is the waterfall. Here is a restaurant, restaurant A. So this building was originally constructed in 1851 and was known as a Henderson block. Today is a restaurant and a nice one. If you can... We walk here inside a little bit. That is the big apartment building. which is owned by the same company. You own the Elora Mill in the other side. The stage is a... Sometimes the outside concert. So this is a very popular photographic place, by the way. A nice place to make a photo shoot, that's for sure. So here is the other side of this El Oromil and the waterfall. And the dam is the original dam, what used to power the mill. Look at those apartments on the other side of the river. Basically, they come in the hallway and can go boating if they want. Hello, Luna. <laughs> yeah. 
So we got back to the London area, and this is the other side of the river. You can see those gentlemen sitting there, and if they want, they even can hang their feet into the water. Hmm. On, on the wall estates, those stone was mined here in Canada. So that was like... So, a local taxi. Twenty dollars. You can take a tour. Man park. Oh no, it's an electric one. Sweet. Somebody has some nice idea to make a money from this. Lots of tourists here. Here is the pictures from the old time on the electric box. This is the old bridge. So as I said, a town used to be a industrial town, the mill and have some alcohol distillation go on for a long time ago too. But right now it's small businesses. This is a coffee shop, a French coffee shop. Beautiful boutiques. All the Thanksgiving decoration in the window. Gift store. It's Sunday, 10 o'clock, and the town is alive. <laughs> so I put my phone into charge, and like only one of the So this was a heart of downtown. I'm gonna take a short walk here. Yeah. Red. Wait. Let's go. It's ten o'clock on Sunday morning, and downtown is full. For Sunday. Like uh, normal people supposed to sleep on Sunday morning, 10 a.m. or go to the church. No, not You're drinking wrong. in the coffee house. Wrong. I feel like in Hungary. Oh, see the Halloween decoration already on the wall. A bookstore. Unfortunately, very few bookstores. Leftover art shop. Hmm. Very nice. Turn left there. We're gonna go to the mill. You see it. Go back to the street where we park. Here is a restaurant and the bar, which is owned by this beer company. Handcrafted spirits and liquor store. Oh, it's not a beer company. So it's maintaining the old tradition. So there is a beautiful park here, just a few steps of downtown. The name is Victoria Park, and this, I believe, is going to take us to the river. And then we will see how beautiful it is. A river 
is running on a limestone. Limestone, which way? Limestone bed. And on deep down. So there is some information. There is the waterfall. And it's hard to see in the camera, even hard to see with my eyes too, but it's over the years and years a river kind of dug itself lower and lower into the stone. And right now it's just beautiful. So interestingly, the El Oro has a mountain climber club and those guys practicing here. Uh, not today. Zip line. A zip line, El Oro zip line, I heard of it. Do you see it? Oh, there is some people canoeing. So here is the river from up you. There is one bridge. Unfortunately, from the waterfall, we cannot see from here, but we can see how deep is running. One of the nature wonder. So here is a walkway to the river. I will not try to make it. Hope I will survive it. Man, how many stairs? I should count it. It's not that many. Maybe 100. Oh, almost. Stairs over. Nature. So I made it down to the river. Hardly any water in. Here, up higher is many. Some people having a photo shoot over there, some loud kid. On the other side, many caves is in the limestone. Just here in this location, I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Also, there is a newer bridge. This is one of the bridge for the cars. And one more thing what I didn't mention. This river, one of the best trout fishing place in Ontario. A, a brown trout, I never see a brown trout, I see a lake trout. I don't know what is the different. A brown trout in the lake trout, however, they stay in the best brown Trout fishing place are here. Anyway, time to say goodbye from Elora. Hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoy the walk, and I hope you will like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.